is Polymet Cafe menu. Lysosome will be presented today. We will talk about lysosome discovery, lysosome extraction, lysosome function, and quiz game. I'm Dr. Biomed, cellular and molecular biologist. Hi everybody, welcome to the Biomed Cafe channel. In this channel, complex biological and medical contents are presented in a simple, classified, and summarized form. Lysosome discovery. They saw something other didn't see. Quist then did in 1949 showed that glucose 6-phosphatase from the liver cell fraction came from membranous fractions, which were definitely cell organelles, and in 1955 he named them lysosomes to reflect their digestive properties. In 1955, Alex B. Novikov successfully obtained the first electron micrographs of lysosome and confirmed the location of hydrolytic enzymes of lysosomes. Lysosome characteristics A lysosome is a membrane-bound organelle found in animal cells. Its size is from 0.1 to 0.5 micrometers, thought it can reach up to 1.2 micrometers. It's spherical vesicles that contain over 60 different enzymes. It is responsible for the digestion of macromolecules, all cell parts, and microorganisms. They have more than 50 membrane proteins. A human cell contains around 300 lysosomes. Lysosome structure Lysosome has two parts in its structure. The first part is membrane. It's a phospholipid bilayer. As function, it protects the cytosol and the rest of cell from the lysosome degraded enzymes. The lysosome maintains its acidic pH via proton pump or VATPase that is responsible for transport of protons into lysosome lumen using ATP and chloride ion channel that is responsible for transport of protons into lysosome lumen and chloride into cytosol. The second part is matrix. It's internal space of lysosome. The matrix pH is approximately 4.5 to 5. It contains hydrolytic enzymes, such as sulfatases. They release sulfates from organic compounds. Proteases. They break down proteins. Amylases. They break down starches into sugars. Nucleates. They break down nucleic acids, lipases, down lipids, and phosphatases. They release phosphates from organic compounds. These enzymes are active only in the lysosome acidic pH. Types of lysosomes. There are two types of lysosomes. One type is primary lysosome. They are formed from Golgi apparatus. They are appearing as small vesicles. They contain acid hydrolysis. The pH value of the acid in these vesicles is important in that its changes activate or deactivate the enzymes. Most of the primary lysosomes will fuse with phacosomes, which result in the formation of secondary lysosomes. Another type of lysosomes is secondary lysosomes. They are formed when primary lysosomes fuse with endosomes or phagosomes. The fusion also causes the previously inactive enzymes to be activated and capable of digesting such biomolecules as nucleic acids and lipids, among others. 
they are capable of releasing their contents or enzymes outside the cells where they dig away foreign material. Now I want to compare primary lysosomes with secondary lysosomes. Primary lysosomes are formed from Golgi apparatus, but secondary lysosomes are formed from fusion of primary lysosomes and endosomes. Primary lysosomes largely serve to store material as storage vesicles, but secondary lysosomes largely serve to digest material as digestive vesicles. Primary lysosomes do not release any of their content, but secondary lysosomes can release their enzymes into the cell cytoplasm for exocytosis. Primary lysosomes have inactive hydrolysis, but secondary lysosomes have active hydrolysis. And primary lysosomes are the smaller in size, but secondary lysosomes are larger in size. Similarities between primary lysosomes and secondary lysosomes. Both have acid hydrolysis. Both have a single phospholipid bilayer membrane, lysosome formation. There are two pathways. The first pathway is secretory pathway, through which lysosomal proteins are processed. The first step is budding of lysosomal vesicles containing monose 6 phosphate labels from trans Golgi network or TGN. Then removal of the clotting code occurs. Uncoated vesicles fuse with the late endosomes that are precursor to lysosomes. The next step is recycling of mono 6 phosphate to the Golgi. Finally, formation of lysosomes occurs. The second pathway is endocytic pathway through which extracellular molecules are taken up at the cell surface. The first step is binding of ligands to cell surface receptors. Then, formation of clattering coated peat echoes, containing a receptor and ligand. The next formation of clattering coated vesicles with budding from plasma membrane. Then we have formation of uncoated vesicles, recycling of clattering and receptors to plasma membrane. The next step is maturation of early or primary endosomes into late or secondary endosomes that are precursor of lysosomes. Finally, formation of lysosomes occurs. Lysosome functions. The first function is digesting material of endocytosis vesicles. Extracellular macromolecules are taken up into the cell to form endosomes that fuse with lysosomes. The second function is digesting material of phagocytosis vesicles, or cell eating. It's carried out by specialized cells, for example, macrophages. They engulf large extracellular particles, such as dead cells or foreign invaders, for example, bacteria, and target them for lysosomal degradation. The third function of lysosomes is digesting material of autophagocytosis vesicles. It's the process by which old organelles like mitochondria and malfunctioning cellular parts 
on removed from a cell. At first, old organelles like mitochondria are enveloped by internal membranes like SER. Then they fuse with primary lysosomes. Then they form secondary lysosomes. Finally, old organelles are digested. Key points of lysosomes One of the important changes during endosome maturation is the lowering of the internal pH to about 5.5, which plays a key role in the de delivery of lysosomal acid hydrolysis from the TGN. If the lysosomal membrane were to break down, the released acid hydrolysis would be inactive at the neutral pH of the cytosol. Lysosomes cannot digest themselves. Most of proteins present in its membrane contain high amount of hydrohydrate. Because of the presence of these groups, digestive enzymes are unable to digest the proteins present on the membrane. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and if you like the contents of this video, please like it. Now it's time to the quiz game. I have put the link to the quiz game in the description of this video. Download it for free and enjoy it. Until the next video. Bye.